this video is to look at the settings that I use in Skyforge. You know, the advantage it should have with this is that um, you can stop and replay it at any time. So I'm going to go through them all and you can make use of them if you so wish. First of all, we'll start with Analyze, the American spelling. Anything that hasn't got a tick on it means that anything below doesn't work. If it is ticked, then things below do work. So, open it up so you can see more. This is my extrusions. We've got cutting, extrusions, milling and winding, but mics, settings, analyze, and we'll start with clairvoyance. If at any time you want to help, then just by clicking on the help sign next to the item you want, it will bring up a very useful help file. This is perhaps the most important, one of the most important sections. It is worth measuring the filament size because it does make a difference. I measure mine with a micrometer. I'm here, I am going to make a change actually. I'm changing my internal grid to a hexagon. Anything not activated, I'm going to zoom through. setting this back to one so I don't forget it next time. That's in multiplied number of items. You can have a raft and that does benefit large items so they say. I don't have mine switched on though.
if you want the easy way out and have these settings on a, a zip file just email me mike m i k e at 3d hyphen printer hyphen kit dot com and I'll send you one Once you do have successful prints, it's worth playing with some of these variables because they do make quite a bit of difference. And it's only by playing with them that I've got to the ones that I am at now. This is where you can save the name. So if you make an alteration, you can add a profile and then that'll save it. And you can remember what it is for next time. And that's it. Those are the settings for extrusion for me. Thanks for watching. Oh, sorry. Save all. And that will. say all the changes that I've made to date. Thanks for watching.